Hi there. So you already know how to make three divs of the same width for extra large screens. For that you create a div with class row and then inside create three divs with class call XL4. And this way you get three divs of equal length. Plus altogether they will take up the entire width of the container. But how do you create five columns of the same length in Bootstrap so they fill up the entire width of the container? If you write for each one call XL2, what will you get? Five columns times a column width of two is ten total, so two column spaces would still be available. But we specifically want five columns. But if we try the width as call XL3, then five columns times three is fifteen, which is more than twelve. It doesn't fit. So what do we do? If you used Bootstrap 3, this would pose quite the problem. But in Bootstrap 4, there are five more classes added to help us easily deal with such problems. So what do we do to create five columns of equal length? Once again, we create a div with class row. And then inside, five more divs, but with what kind of classes? We're using the class call XL. As you see, this class hardly is any different from the previous versions. The only difference is we don't write the number of single columns used. And this way the columns get divided evenly amongst themselves automatically. Easy, right? But what if we were using LG, that is for the large screens? It would be the exact same thing. We would create five divs, but this time with class call LG. So it's pretty straightforward. And if we do that, we get five divs of the same width, except this time for the LG format. But what about mobile screens? Just write call for each one, and that's it. And once again you get five even divs, but for the mobile format. Super simple. Alright, so let's consider a different example. We've got a div with class call LG5. By default it's going to be on the left side. But what if we want this div to be in the middle? Ok, so we could subtract 5 from 12, which is 7. But the best you can do is divide 7 into 3 and 4. So for example 3 on the left side and 4 on the right side. So block A doesn't get centered perfectly. Once again, it'd be hard to fix this problem with Bootstrap 3. But with Bootstrap 4, it's super simple to solve this. We just add two call LG divs without any numbers, one before and one after. And then they divide that space evenly between themselves. Ok, now let's look at some real examples. First in HTML we create the container, so a div with class container fluid. Then inside we create a row. And then in the row we create five blocks with class, let's say, call Excel. Just add some letter to each one. The way it is now, we will only see the letters, nothing else. So let's add some styles to our blocks. So for all the divs, lying specifically in our row div, we're going to write height, say 150 pixels, background, say yellow, and border 1 pixel solid and black. Let's see what it looks like now. And there you have it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 blocks. And note that all of them have the same width. And for the Excel format, it's going to stay like that as long as it's within the Excel format dimensions. 
but as soon as I reach LG, they just stack one beneath the other. Now, let's change XL to MD, for example. Now let's see it. Refresh the page. Excel still works. Because as you may recall, all the classes above the one we set also work. So MD and higher. So about there we have LG. And as soon as we pass MD, the blocks stack beneath each other. And now let's set them from any format. For that we just write col. Refresh. And now it doesn't matter how much you change the window size, the blocks will stay in one row and adjust and be of equal width. And say I want something like 20 columns in the same row. No problem. Now we have 5. Now 10, 15, and 20. Let's see. And now you see that the entire width of the page is divided into 20 columns, all of the same width. A very convenient feature, I'd say. One other thing. When the width of the column reaches its content, then it can't decrease any further, so some columns start moving over to the next row. And on the second row, they also divide the space evenly between each other, like that. Now let's look at the case when we have col xl5 There it is and we want to center it we just add one diff with class col before it and then another col after it and there we have it they're also yellow because we told all the divs to have the background color. But if we only specify this for call XL5, then we won't see them anymore. And we'll just have our block in the center of the page like we want it. That's it for now. Till next time.